Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna try to recreate um, this setup, similar setup that uh, Jun Kiyoshi uh, created. Basically, he made uh, these animations the other day, and I thought, okay, I think I can do something similar using Blender. So this look like um, a cylinder, and your cylinder, you you twist, you twist the the vertical lines of the cylinder. And then, in my case, I actually use a, use like a, a bunch of curve, so it creates a similar kind of uh, setup. Okay, so let's just get started. I will be using Sphere Chalk and Animation Nodes, so both of them. So let's save this as ANSV uh, Cylinder Twist. So the easiest way to create this, of course, to start with a cylinder. So, spread chop, cylinder, and we know that cylinder has um, this separate options, and that's what we need exactly. And the output is going to be a curve, but I will show you what it looks like at the moment. Viewer draw, so cylinder edge edges. So it gives us that this separate thing actually works when I plug this into the UV connections and as a result we get something like this in the V direction like a, there's a U directions and there's a V directions that's the V is what we want and we want more subdivisions and all we need to do is to just to twist it pretty simple simple deformation again and subdivision we can increase the subdivisions and the angle of twist so this is kind of a good start for what we are trying to do yeah actually this is pretty much it and at this point we want to separate the vertices and polygon edge of this and then create a curve. All right. So yeah, this this is getting there. Maybe make sixteen of them, and we can perhaps twist it more. Subdivision. Actually, a little bit. Yeah, maybe forty subdivisions. So this is a good start. I'm gonna save it as a new blend. And all we need to do next is to select the, uh, the curve, the twisted cylinder, and then simply animate this bevel vector. So if we select all of this, and then option, actually hold control, I think, or options, supposedly we can control all of this at the same time. So in order to do that, I will be using um, actually animation nodes. So hopefully this works properly. I will group all of this guy, control G, all the curve, go switch to animation nodes, and then go to objects, objects from group, wrap our group, and then here I will use attribute output, and the attribute output I will simply animate this um, that guy is called a uh, bevel factor n so I'm gonna select this copy paste it multiple values and this is gonna be object data bevel vector and and then it says attribute not found okay shouldn't say that uh, let me check. Did I select the property? File, save, try random number. Value has wrong type, okay. Let's see if I'm actually selecting the right object. I should be selecting the right object. Um, attribute not found. 
okay i should actually select it i should have data at the front because this is a curved data all right so there you go that's actually pretty much the setup um so we can have more twisted lines and we animate this uh, whatever you like in case of k0 i think i know in case of what i was showing you before it's probably using uh, sound or noise to control the result this is just a random number between zero and one and it's of course controlling uh, the curve n so yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty very very easy to do very simple if i ever want to make any changes i go back to spare chalk and then let's see if i can uh, make changes but yeah that's pretty much it yeah hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye